Memorable game, 1975 state premiership match between Glenorchy and North Launceston. The 1975 state final was contested between Northern and Southern powerhouses, Glenorchy and North Launceston. The Magpies earning their place thanks to a 39-point win over Sandy Bay in the TANFL Grand Final and had advanced straight to the final thanks to the state premiership's rotation system. Both sides on paper looked very, very strong sides. The level of talent on the ground was just amazing. The Robins, meanwhile, had to earn their spot the hard way, defeating Scottsdale in the NTFA Grand Final before winning the state preliminary final with a dominant 89-point win over NWFU Premier's Wynyard at York Park. Unfortunately for the Robins, their win came at a cost, with up to eight players going into the state premiership needing pain-killing injections. We probably did ourselves a disservice in that we lost the second semi. So, really hard game in the second semi, then had to play preliminary final, grand final, then we had the extra game against Wynyard. I mean, Bernie, I know the summary of the game was, we would have gone better if I hadn't run out of pain-killing injections, and I think probably both sides were the same. The two sides faced each other at North Hobart Oval on a Sunday afternoon in late September. Conditions were perfect. Both sides, after 12 months, had probably got very close to the pinnacle of where they were going to get. And, um, and the, the game was just ferocious, the speed and the skills. A well-balanced side, we had good players on every line, but of course North Launceston had the same. The first half in particular was, was quite spectacular. You know, I've heard uh, players from both sides say they couldn't hear anything on the ground because of the noise. The Glenorchy side was a class act and in the third quarter they demonstrated it with coach Peter Hudson starting to get the upper hand. The Magpie slammed on nine goals to three to take a 13 point advantage into the final change. The third quarter they came out and absolutely went whammo eight, nine goals, and, and then we gradually pegged them back. By now, the physical toll was beginning to tell on the Robins, and the result was Glenorchy dominating play in the final quarter, running out winners by an even four goals. They got a good lead on us, and um, to my great joy as coach, our players turned it round in the second half, and then we finished up making up that um, deficit and going on and winning by about the same amount. It was a game that was above the level of Tasmanian football quite significantly at that particular time and um, I think that's probably what made it such a great game. The game itself didn't disappoint anybody because it was such a such a last man standing affair. The game is remembered in the annals of Tasmanian football as one of the most exciting and high quality matches ever played in the state, with the talent on display being a large factor. No less than nine of the 40 participants had either previously played VFL football or would go on to play VFL football at a later date. It was a moment in time about um, some quality uh, experienced players coming from quality uh, competitions plus a huge number of, of, of younger players who, who were coming up, you know, Eads and Marshes and Pickets and all of these sorts of characters. Peter Hudson, no stranger to playing on the big stage, surrounded by champions, listed the match as one of the top three he's ever played in. The best way that I could probably describe the game was that it sits in my top three or four games of football ever. Great game, wonderful game, wonderful memories and fantastic players that a huge amount of them are members of the Hall of Fame because of the quality of their, their game.